Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how you can install Visual Studio Code in your Linux Mint operating system. So you can use Debian or Ubuntu or any other distro. So let's understand what is Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is a source code text editor developed by Microsoft for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It includes support for debugging, embedded git control, syntax highlighting, snippets and many more. Okay, so it's a cross-platform IDE or you can say text editor. Uh, you can use it uh, on any platform whether it is Windows, Macintosh or Linux. So in this video, I'll show you how you can install it in Linux Mint operating system. So for that, go to your favorite browser. I'll open Google Chrome. And after that, just type code.visualstudio.com. So you will go here. So this is how it looks. So here you can see there are two buttons. One is saying .deb. So this will download a file which will have the extension .deb. This means you can only install it on Debian based uh, distros and here it is saying .rpm. RPM means Red Hat Package Manager. So you can install Visual Studio Code on any Red Hat based distro. For example Fedora and CentOS. Now we will be focusing on Debian based distros. So I'll click here and I will download this .deb file. It will download. See, I'll cancel this because I have already downloaded this .deb file. So you guys need to download this .deb file in order to proceed with the installation. Now go to your downloads directory. Here you can see there is a .deb file. So we are going to install using this file the Visual Studio Code text editor. Now there are two ways how you can install this text editor. One is from the software center. You will have to just go to the software center and type Visual Studio Code and then you can uh, install it. Let me show you how you can do that. So here in my system, it is software manager that has a list of all the packages. So here I will type visual studio code. So here you can see this is the IDE or the code text editor. This is how it looks and just click on install and uh, give your password visual studio code will be installed in your uh, system now i won't be showing you this way because this is the easiest way and uh, it is not recommended okay if you are using linux so what i will do is i will install visual studio code using the command line. So to install uh, Visual Studio Code using the command line, I will write the command. And by the way, this command will be given in the description section below. You can copy and paste it on your terminal and you can install Visual Studio Code on your system. Okay, so to install this Visual Studio Code, navigate to Downloads directory. Okay, press enter then i will use ls command to list whatever the file is present in the downloads directory so here we have this dot deb file which we had downloaded before now what you will do is type this command sudo dpkg which means debian package manager so hyphen i so, so that we are installing this dot deb package and type code tap okay this will uh, write the file name okay 
press enter it will ask for your password type your password now, as you can see the visual studio code has been installed in our system and the necessary repositories are added so we will go and we will see whether it is installed or not so for that type vsc so you can see here visual studio code is there open this now this is how the welcome screen will look like so this is the explorer part you can zoom this welcome screen a bit okay so this is to search and this is the icon that uh, shows you all the uh, changes that you have made to the git repositories okay so if you guys know git well so you you will be familiar with this uh, source control icon so you guys will be familiar with this uh, icon if you are doing any uh, debugging task for a programming language such as uh, c c++ okay so it's it acts as a debugger now this is my favorite which is the extensions so here you can install uh, packages you can search for it for example i will type sas it will list out all the syntax highlighting uh, packages for example this one okay so here you can see what it does and you can also read the property and what why it has been used and you can also see this package which is beautify that beautifies your code which is written in css sas or scss that is syntactical uh, style sheets and many more packages are there so for example if you want any packages to be installed based on python so we have this okay and there are many other so if you want to install in packages regarding node.js or django you can just search here and you can install okay so if you want to write any document just file and new file you can type here and you can save your file so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys have gained something if you guys have gained something then do hit the like button share as much as you can and do subscribe to my channel for further updates see you guys in the next video so till then happy learning